Using a master project is a good way to organize the use of multiple open projects and provide a high-level overview of which editor is currently editing which piece of a project. It also provides a good starting point for multiple editors to work within. To get started, create a new blank Premiere Pro project file. It's a good habit to get into calling this project master in the file name. It's just a normal Premiere Pro project, but we'll use it in a special way, and it tells other editors which project to open up first. Before proceeding, it's a good idea to think through how your team likes to work. We'll be creating additional project files based on how the workload will be split among lead and assistant editors. Planning this out a bit ahead of time will make things easier moving forward. Just think about what people are working on simultaneously and use that as a guide in the next step. Within the master project, use either File, New, Shared Project, or click the New button in the project panel and select Shared Project. This will create a new Premiere Pro project file on the shared storage and place a shortcut or alias to this Premiere Pro project within the master project. If we look at the master project using the finder, you'll see that Premiere created a shared projects folder and within that placed the new shared project inside the subfolder. This keeps all of the shared projects close to the original master project they were created from and helps with organization and backing up to keep all shared projects inside this folder. If I have an existing project and I want to use it as a shared project, use File Import within the master project or just double click on the empty space within the master project window and point at the Premiere Pro project you want to share. Choose Import as Shared Project from the menu. This will create the shortcut inside your master project. Please note that using this method doesn't move or copy the original Premiere Pro project, so it's a good habit to copy or move it first to the shared project folder. It's not required, but it helps when it's time to archive the whole project later on. We recommend keeping the directory structure of a master project pretty flat. Keep the master project empty of clips and sequences. If necessary, create some scratch projects for each editor if they need a temporary storage place to uh, copy or move items. To make it easy to see who is editing what within the master project, there is a metadata column we can turn on that'll show who has each project locked. Click the master project flyout menu, go to metadata display, and within the Premiere Pro Project Metadata category, there's an item called Project Locked. Turning this on will add it to the far right of the metadata columns within the master project, so you may want to move it to the left. Just grab the column header and drag to the left. Here I have it next to the name column for easy viewing when I first open the project. All editors in a group can open the master project to get started, and then open up the bins or projects they'll be working on individually. Most editors will open the master project in read-only mode. That won't prevent them from making changes within the shared projects, just from adding more shared projects to the master project. In case somebody does need to add additional shared projects, it's easy to give right access to another editor. Just click the green lock icon in the lower left of the project panel. There's no need to close and reopen the master project to change the lock state. Master projects provide an easy way for editors working together to easily pass media and sequences around within the team.